you've all, how long have you been involved in FCA? How many years? So I've been uh, eight years. Eight, eight years, years on staff. Okay. Yeah. So in eight years, the um, FCA in Tri Cities has come a long ways, right? Oh yeah. Um, wow. Obviously, it's God, but it's also God's using your leadership, you and Amy. Well, thank you. We're gonna get her on here too, Amy. Yeah. And um, and so, but in those eight years. I'm sure you have lots of stories you could talk about, but maybe just share one. Maybe it could be a moment. It could be a specific story. It could be even something with your family. I don't know. Yeah. Where you've seen FCA influence uh, somebody or something in a way, in a special way. Man. Yeah. I think uh, you know camp comes to mind. Yeah. Uh, FCA camp. We have a sports camp coming up in Idaho, and then one in Seattle. And uh, you talk about you know talk about that lifespan of a, a season or a game, and and here we have we have four nights. <laughs> you know, five days, four nights mm -hmm. together in a in a positive yeah uplifting encouraging sports environment yeah. beautiful weather beautiful mm -hmm. facilities all the things teamwork working together um people of all uh faiths uh, or no faith um yeah. you know just come as you are mm -hmm. and to experience just the love and the encouragement and the you know it's like i call it like you know feel the dreams yeah you know? it's like yeah this heaven for a for a sports nut this is what heaven is like, mm -hmm. you know, getting to participate in something you're passionate about and, you know, use your body to, to do things and to learn and grow. And so that's been highly impactful. And, and I think when, when someone's faith is unlocked, um, I mean, I can think of some students, I won't name their names, yeah. but to watch their journey as like a sixth grader, for sure. you know, coming to us club on campus, yeah. FCA, <laughs> free and, pizza, know, free pizza, <laughs> I'd be there, yeah. you know, um, and then to watch their progression and watch them like graduate, like yeah. this, you know, even this this Saturday, I'll see it, and just to feel like I had this small part mm -hmm. in their faith journey and pointing totally. them towards Jesus, yeah. and and uh, it's, I mean, it it does, it's it's rewarding, right? Yeah. It it really is, and it's it's not about me, it's not about you know what we do, it's how God uses us, like you said, yeah. But it it there's nothing like watching a life be transformed. Um, there's just there's nothing like it. Yeah. You've kind of mentioned, you've sprinkled this answer in already, but I'm going to ask it again, just because I think it's an important question. How does FCA help coaches? How does mm. FCA help athletes? Oh, yeah. Um, I think it puts it puts sports in perspective, mm -hmm. right? Um, sometimes you hear sports ministry, you think, oh, they're all about, you know, sports and winning. And, and really, it's like we almost we almost de-emphasize sports, yeah. right? Like yeah. you're not, you're more than than your stat line, Come on. right? Yeah. You're, yeah. you're more than if you made this team or that team yes. or if it has success, right? Because most of sports is about <laughs> failure. Is. I mean, honestly, you yeah. miss a shot, you, you strike out, whatever, uh, you miss the goal. I mean, so, you know, only one team at the end of the season um, wins a championship, <laughs> That's right, right? Yeah. in each division. There's whatever, yeah. five or six divisions. So, sure. so what about the other teams? Yeah. Well, you know, does it mean that they're, you know, it's worthless? No, there's, there's, you know, it's the journey yeah. almost more than the destination. Um, so, I think putting that putting it in perspective really and then kind of learning who you are through those trials and, and tribulations and to lean on each other I mean that's you know that's that's church that's the the what we call the body of Christ yeah. means like man I need you you need me totally. and better together right? better together Come right on. um Is that on right, so right now it's on there the standard yeah yeah the standard, standard. we're better Come together yeah. right um so it's those things I think that uh um, kind of forget the question, but that, that, that makes sports and kind of faith and FCA so important. And, yeah. and, um, yeah. So with coaches, same thing, right? right. Like win, 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 yes. success, success, success. Yeah. Um, but we one one coach is going to have the a victory as their final game of that I see season it all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And so if that's your only motivation, if that's your purpose, yeah. if your purpose is to win, mm -hmm. you pick the wrong profession. That's true. Right. Like, that's a great you know, way of saying it. Um, so it's it's the other things. It's the relationships. Yes. It's it's all of that. Like yeah. you know, yeah. I get on my soapbox, but you know about this because it is about the relationships. Yeah. Like, um, and we've seen we've had good coaches. We've seen bad coaches. We yeah. kind of we know as we talk about you know sports. Yeah. Like you know the impact of that coach that maybe wasn't as relational. Um, maybe didn't. I'm sure they cared, but maybe didn't feel like they cared. For sure. Oh yeah. Versus the the coach where you're like seeking them out yeah. when in a life moment that's outside of sports and yeah. like, hey coach, like I need some advice. Exactly. Or you yes. see them in the store and they run up and they give you a big yes. hug and and things like that. It's those moments that are transcends the what you do on a field or a court. So yeah. that's what it's about. I think for coaches, they have such a big platform, such a big influence. Oh, it's like huge. most of them don't even understand that, yeah. you know. Um, so get them to understand that at every level, right? At even, every even level, even in the little. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah right. Totally, yeah, you know your first coach, and, yeah. and I, you know, so it's 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 uh 
yeah, it, it's important, right? And don't, don't want to just go through the motions and um, you want to be purposeful about what everything you do. And so yeah. for coaches, yeah, when you can find that purpose, we talk about it. We have this thing called 360 Coach, which kind of helps you to understand your purpose as a coach beyond the X's and O's. When that light bulb goes on, yes, then it's it's a it's a game changer. Right? Totally, you know. Yep, I have a mentor, Brian Kane. He's I, I've never met him personally, mm. but I follow all this stuff. He's a sports mental coach, and he always says, "Sell the right ships." Mm. Um, are you chasing championships mm. or relationships? Mm. I love and it. And that guy's competitive. That's what we it. don't want people to miss in all this, right? In FCA, we want to compete and we want to win and get better, but 100%. we want to keep our priorities in check, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to ask you a two-part question. Okay. I usually only ask people on this seat one, but I'm going to oh. ask you two because you're that important. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, because one, okay. you've gone through it with three kids. You're getting ready to graduate uh, one. Yeah. Talk to the parents out there. Oh, what man. advice would you give them to, to parents of young athletes? So someone in my seat. <sighs> yeah. Or, wow. Uh, what, what advice Thank would you give you them as that. you're watching your kids play? And yeah. Yeah. Obviously, enjoy it. All the same, you know, enjoy them every moment. It goes by quick. All those things you yep. hear, it does, right? Mm-hmm. Like, all of a sudden, it's it's over, right? The last whatever, the last at-bat, the last, mm-hmm. you know, tournament, the last game, and all that, and it ends, and you're like, you know, what are you left with, right? The, the memories, for sure. Um, so, don't don't take it too serious, right? Like, we're a competitive society, right? Sure. And I think, uh, you know, we look at Tiger Woods, we look at <laughs> Serena and Venus Williams, oh, and we look Jeez. at these prodigies, and yes. we go, you know... That's my, my kid. kid. That's my kid. Yeah. And then, you know, I think we feel like it's a reflection on us as parents, yeah. right? Like, um, I remember taking my son to his first baseball practice. Mm-hmm. I think he was five or six years old. Whenever you kind of start baseball, that may be too early, right? In fact, yeah. it was. Yeah. So here we go out to practice. We're going to start baseball. Baseball was one of my favorite sports. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you know, I'm a dad. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. baseball thing with my son. Yeah. We go out there to the first practice. So I figure, like, this is where we're going to learn. We're yeah. going to learn about baseball. And yeah. you're going to, you know, figure out how to pl- play catch and throw and hit and all that. Yeah. These kids, every kid was, like, two years ahead of my son. Oh. Same age, but they were playing catch. Like, my, my son, at this point, like, we we tossed the ball For in sure. hand. And yeah, a little yeah. nerf ball, you yeah. know, and all the things. The fat bat and all yeah. that, you know, wiffle ball. Yeah. But they're playing legit catch with a hard ball. And my son hadn't. And I'm like, I failed already. Yeah. And my kid's, you yeah. know, five years old. And, yeah. And, I saw that That's expectations crazy. for sure, you know, so Real. we waited a year. We came back the next year. Yeah, <laughs> we did some training on the side just you know, by training. I mean, just in the yard, just, sure. just dad and son. Right. Right. Playing catch. But um, we put so much pressure on ourselves yeah. and I think we got it. It's got to be fun. Right. For the purpose sure. of sports is fun. Come on. Right? And yeah. That's kind of how you play for the pleasure of your Lord. Right. It's like. It's not about winning and losing. It's not about, you know, being the next Tiger Woods and all that. I mean, for some, for a very, I mean, one in a million probably. For sure. Tigers, your Venus, your your upper echelon. Yeah. Um, So I think we take the fun out of it way too early. That's good. So let your kid be a kid. Come on. Enjoy it. Have fun. If if it's not fun, they're not going to want to (laughs) continue. They're just not. I mean, and so the specialization, all of that, I mean, yeah, I kind of it's kind of becoming my second mission here as my kids graduate. Yeah. Right, like let's put sports in its right perspective. Let's go. Cool. Um, and and if we do that, then they'll enjoy it. And if they enjoy it, they'll want to do it. Yeah, they'll want to go practice. They'll want to participate and get better and all the things. But yeah. if it's if it's if it's driven by the parent, and there's things where a parent has to step in and guide. Right. I mean, we we've had that too with our kids where yeah. it's like. Yeah, we've we've made them play. I'm just gonna be if I'm honest. Like, no, you need to you need to participate, and, and here's why, and um, and they learn things out of that. But uh, man, just don't take it so serious. <laughs> Have fun with it. They're not gonna fall behind. Totally. They're not. Like I know kids that. That's a lie. It is a lie. That's a lie. You don't have to yeah. start them when they can walk. Yeah. You know, with with specialized lessons, like you will burn <laughs> them out. Um, I, I've just heard. I just talked to someone last night. Their child is going to play football for the first time uh-huh. um, as a fresh incoming freshman in high school. Oh wow! So it's like, and, and football's slightly different, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. you know, baseball. There are some skills and some for sports sure. where you do it helps to get that coordination going a little earlier. Yeah. But still, just let them enjoy it. Let them be kids. Yeah. You want to ignite that passion in them so that they want to do it. You totally. And if it's all driven, if it's all parental driven, I think they, it, I don't know. For some, they respond to that. For others, they, they largely don't. So just enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. That's awesome, man. Well, hey, on the behalf of uh, this community in the Tri City, we just mm-hmm. want to say thank you for uh, your commitment. Mm-hmm. I think, right. of, I think of uh, the word that Pastor Mo used the other night at our baccalaureate mm-hmm. yet, right? You've stayed committed to this mission. Mm-hmm. And more bigger than just FCA, we love FCA, 
but you stayed committed to Jesus. Mm-hmm. You stayed stay tied to Jesus, stay tied right? To Jesus, yeah, we're honest, um, And that's the most important thing. And Thank you've been you a model right. of that. Mm-hmm. And you've modeled everything you've said. You model to our athletes here, uh, to our coaches. Mm-hmm. And you model to us as a team here at FCA. And so we just want to say thank you, man. Um, I know Amy's a big part of that. You guys coming too. And so, but um, thank you for everything you're doing. And uh, thanks for giving up your time today because I know no, you're a busy easy, dude. Easy, no. Um, but hey, you're off the hot seat. Whew. You're good. Okay. Now let's go barbecue. All, All right, right, let's, let's go. Chicken, chicken on me. <laughs>